President-elect Barack Obama speaking at George Mason University about the economic situation in this country. Our chief White House correspondent, Chip Reed, has been listening. Chip, this was a very in-your-face speech that painted a very bleak picture. What motivated this politically for President-elect Obama? Well, Katie, I think part of it is that there are signs in Washington that this stimulus package is getting bogged down a bit. You know, initially they were shooting for January 20th, Inauguration Day, to get it on his desk. Now they're talking about mid-February. There are a lot of debates over what's going to be in it, what's not going to be in it. He wants the American people to understand how bad things are. It is potentially catastrophic, and he wants to light a fire under Congress and get them to do this and do it quickly. Chip Reed, thanks very much. Anthony Mason, our business correspondent. Anthony, why is he pinning all his hopes on the stimulus package. I mean, we've seen that before, and some people say it didn't work all that well. Well, Katie, because without it, almost every economist will tell you we could be headed for double-digit unemployment. I mean, and even with it, we're headed for a couple of really bleak years. What struck me about this speech is his appeal for sacrifice, basically saying we got to end this culture of anything goes. He's telling Americans they got to change the way they live. It's He's got to get them in there with him now, Katie. Because he only has a small window of opportunity in which he can act, and right? so much of this whole financial crisis is psychological. So he's got to keep the country with him or fear will get out of hand. All right. Anthony Mason, thank you, Anthony. We'll have much more tonight on the CBS Evening News. Until then, I'm Katie Couric in New York. Have a good day.